Ah, <laughs> this is just a prop. Surely, guy, this sort of car has a micro penis, right? Today, we're gonna find out. Sort of. I hate automobiles, generally, but especially in this city. This city is so small that 20 minute walk from a city center gets you right about here. I'm in the forest. So for the longest time, I couldn't understand why people are driving around here with cars. And especially with these big SUVs. Is it really so that every, everybody has small Earlier this year, I got a second child. And suddenly, I understood, is the safety, comfort and freedom that car pro provides you. Seriously, I get it now. Like, considering my lifestyle, plus now having two kids, can be a challenge that car could maybe sometimes make easier. So, I seriously started to consider to make myself a driving license. And to help me to decide whether I should do it, I rented this soccer mom car for a day. And Uku here will be my chauffeur and we're gonna be running errands in a day. That's the content. I'll be comparing it to the way how I usually do my chores around the city with cargo pants. I prepared four challenges to figure what are the pros and cons of each. Should you drive one or the other? Will my genitalia become smaller by driving all day in SUV? No, seriously. The aim is to figure out whether I should make myself a driving license and start to drive a car. And don't worry, I will get to the bit with measuring penises because of the size of a car just in a bit. We run a public repair space and we tend to gather things. So the task with the car is to load it up with as much crap as we possibly can and then take it to the waste management center. First we're gonna have to figure where to park. We can either park 170 meters away from the workspace on a free parking lot or park on a premium one 50 meters away, but we can stay there only for 50 minutes. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> motorized vehicle dilemmas already occurring. Because I have the time to come over here, this will be going. Well, there is a spot, but it's blocked. Hmm. What would I do with my bicycle? Hmm. This, on the other hand, was dramatic. If we won't manage in 15 minutes, there comes this dude who might give us a ticket for 50 euros. Set the timer. Wow. From there on, it was easy. We turned the clock or reparked the car, thus restarting the clock about three times. And then just fill the vehicle to the absolute limit. We traveled 5.6 kilometers and unloaded about 200 kilograms of stuff. And it took us all 108 minutes. minutes. Pretty smooth. Smooth. Pretty smooth. I, I wonder how my other me is doing. Same task with the bike. Junk to the dump. We dumped about 60 kilos of stuff, traveled 7.8 kilometers, and it took us all about 100 minutes. So, some plus points definitely go to the car. Will this persuade me to become an automobilist? Let's do the groceries first, and then we'll see. This is the most common mantra I hear from the religiously worshipping urban automobilists out there. You know, imagine picking up the kids from the kindergarten, then going with them to do the shopping for a week while they are hungry and hyped from all the colors of the supermarket. And all of this on bike, how I'm supposed to do that? <laughs> we, we will show you just in a bit, but let's first check the benefits of car doing a groceries with kids. I'm not gonna be taking the second child with me, the small one, because come on, we just can't torture him like this. Then for the experiment to retain its, it's, it's, it's like uh, realism, we're gonna take this child instead. Uh, it's by the way, it's a surveillance camera that I made from old laptop. It, it actually works, it's pretty sick. But anyways, we, we're gonna take it with us to the shop and treat it like a real ass baby the whole time.
Jonathan. Jah. Üks kümnest, kui põne peal sa oled, et sõri ma on taga. Seems like we are stuck in a traffic jam. But you know what is right next to us? Ah, a cycling path. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. It took us 24 minutes to pass 3 km distance. Plus, I actually got car sick. I usually order my groceries from the internet, so I actually haven't experienced the hassle to go to shopping with two kids. But we somehow, we somehow managed. Oh, baby, crying. Other one is eating, eating his buggers. What is gonna happen? Oh my god. Yeah, tula. Bye. Now, the same task with the bike. It was the same deal. Same shop, same kids, same distance, and the same shopping list for a week. Not the same week, obviously. So good! So sweet! Leave the baby here because, you know, it's actually <coughs> not a real baby and it's just such a hassle to take it out, so we just leave the, <laughs> just leave the baby here. After a little bit of fiddling and stuffing, I fitted all the children and all the shopping into the bike and we were ready to go. In the end, both ways, there and back, took about the same time as with the car. Plus, my motion sickness was gone. I'm not being ill, I'm not ill. Like riding like this, like last time when we went, I was super ill in the car. Like this, it's fresh air, you know. It's good. Here is the summary with data of car versus cargo bike that will help me to finally decide. But first, small penises. What does it mean to have a small penis? <laughs> well, if you if you take a if you take a small well if you take a small penis as a, as a symbol, then well it indicates that there is a lack of potency, lack of potentiality, the lack of the might to bring things into being. Like it's it's small, so it doesn't so it doesn't have power. As the meme goes, you compensate that lack of strength with with you know big powerful <laughs> big big powerful. Car. Now I approached it scientifically. I compared the statistics of how many people have micro penis and how many people approximately drive with this kind of big car. And the statistics don't don't match. There is significantly more people with big cars than with micro penises. So what is going on? And and, and, and I did some dig, digging in my in my mind. And and I have a theory. The reason to desire such a vehicle or like normal SUV, which is a still a ridiculous thing to drive around in a city. The, the reasons are safety and comfort. And and right, when we were driving around in, in, in the city with SUV, it was comfy. But it is the comfort that shrinks. The, to be precise, it is the addiction to comfort. And more comfortable you get, the more unable you get. And it couldn't be illustrated in a better way than in a film wall. -E. Where future humanity reaches the ultimate version of consumerism, leaves the planet on a spaceship where people just scroll on screens and eat, turning themselves into sort of blobs. It, it is such a shame because like the opposite direction, actively seeking discomfort, like the, the virtue that lies behind it is so great. This YouTube channel, Yes Theory Moto Goes by Seeking Discomfort. You become stronger, <laughs> more beautiful, fitter, and generally happier person in contrast to where you search for comfort and then you're gonna just end up as as the, you know, wally human blob. And like this you can maybe follow the logic, ah, but like this you can go straight back to the cave and, and you're gonna be probably the fittest. And yeah, probably. <laughs> Surely there are things that provide you comfort, clothes, shoes, phones, <laughs> that are an absolute must. But they also give you, you know, means of survival and also efficiency. 5.7 liter Dodge Ram or like an urban SUV doesn't, <laughs> doesn't do that. Now you really need to decide whether to join the driving school or not. Well, the car was faster. A bit. Five to ten minutes faster only. Really. Again, you can carry more stuff. Nobody cleans up the cycling paths ever, man. Like, never. But with bike, you don't get car sick. But it's virtually free. With car, you, you can visit your friends in countryside.
Otherwise, you couldn't have. The cars make it really shitty for people, and dude, <laughs> you're a person. You're right. <laughs> I am a person. Again, think about the options. Places in nature, like freaking Euro road trip. You would be a free man. I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? The, the, the utility of a car really boils down to the comfort. And based and on that human theory, I just, I'm not having that. So I'm not gonna be making myself a driving license. This YouTube channel, it's all about <coughs> the, right? Destroy the economy. It's like After Effects. If this is something that resonates with you, you can support us via Patreon. Money from there funds projects like this one and the ones that are coming. There are projects coming. I very much appreciate the Patreons that has stayed with me for the last five months, even though I haven't posted any video. It was kind of tough times. And so, yeah, thanks. But but there, there are more videos coming like next month, hopefully. Yes, yes. Thank you.